One of the closest missions to the garage in Duncan Bay is Landslide on the Road. And it's easy to get half of that, the service parts that you need, but the concrete slab is a mystery. And you get it from Uncle Fishmore in contracts, and it's the unfinished business at the plant. So that's the short answer. In order to get Landslide on the Road fixed, you have to take care of this contract first. Whatever setup that you plan on taking, make sure that you have four slots so that you can bring two concrete slabs back. For the unfinished business at the plant mission, you need service parts, so I'd pick those up and bring them across the ferry before you depart. For this mission, I would recommend taking two vehicles. I took the Fleetstar 52070A with the sideboard bed and the GMC MH9500 with the sideboard bed. But for this one, I also added the crane. Very, very helpful. Take this route up the west side of the river. Leave one of your vehicles before the crossing of the river. Pick up the two-slot cargo container from the factory. Bring that over. And then you're going to come back here and take the haul on this northern road west and get the metal beams. And a little bonus detail here. You can actually, if you have a narrow truck like the MH9500, you can squeeze right between this post there. That's all you need for the mission. Once you get over to the factory, one of the reasons I suggest that you bring uh, two vehicles is number one, you'll probably wreck somewhere along the way and that's where the crane and having a second vehicle helps quite a bit. And then secondly is you wanna get two concrete slabs and concrete slabs are two slots. So having two vehicles works out pretty well. When you come back, you wanna bring your slabs and open up the rock slide on the road, which is right here. You're gonna need one other small bit. I think it's service parts here with the Scout. You can take that up there pretty quickly and open up that side. And that way the left and the, the west and the east side of the river is open for you. Once that is all opened up, you can bring your second concrete slab along this route, take the ferry across, and you'll have this landslide on the road open, and that pretty much opens up most of the, the main map for you. If this video was helpful for you in any way, please hit the like button down below. I hate saying that, but honestly, that's one of the main ways I know what I create has been helpful, and that's why I do this. Near the temporary measures, going over there is a trap. It seems counterintuitive, but this is the best route to take. And even with the, the loaded trucks with the concrete slabs on here, this is the best route. Near the warehouse, so as you're going east toward the factory, going up right through here is a viable way. Your truck will go right through here like so. I would avoid all that mud. You can take your vehicles. You can even take them one at a time. Even the Fleet Star will squeeze right through here. Plow over this little tree on the left and bring yourself up here. This is another tricky spot along this part of the road, right here. To the left, you have these roots, and then to the right, you have this mud, and there's an incline on the left here. You can kind of see it, and for a taller, narrower truck, that'll definitely knock you over. So, a uh, central route is probably going to be helpful for you if you can avoid the rocks. And I realized if you just stay in the ruts with the larger trucks that you're driving, it actually helps you stay in low gear uh, or slow gear and it'll be no problem. At the factory entrance, there's a bit of a pond situation going on. To the left, we have some stumps, which can be helpful, but you can get bogged down right here and there are large rocks, especially this one that kind of gets in the way when you're trying to make your turn. And there's no clear path over here through by these logs. On the right side, we do have a couple good anchors, but this is thick mud through here. So what I found, you can kind of see my tracks from when I took my larger trucks through. What I found is the center route is the most stable with the big trucks if you have your differential lock and all wheel drive going and all i had was all terrain tires um, i was able to get through just watch out for the big rocks so that's all for this video if you liked it give me a comment or a like hope you have a wonderful day and be safe out there